no longer silent. We're going to discuss what is Loom, what does the technology do, why has it gone so parabolic, and is it too late to buy? Why is it different, and why the hell has it gone parabolic? Because this crypto was developed in 2018, and it's not just one of those cryptos that fizzles out within the blockchain space. This creates use case. Now, we all know about dApps, decentralized applications, and we all know the implications of decentralized applications. You have to have an ERC-20 smart contract developed with EVM compatible Ethereum coding before you can add something to Ethereum. So the developers have to use EVM and then they can add it to Ethereum. So that raises problems. And what does the problem of Loom solve? Because what it allows for is a developer to build a dApp and then that dApp can be used across the different chains, whether it's Bitcoin, whether it's Binance, whether it's on Ethereum or any of the other major chains. So this is something that solves an actual problem. Now this article sums it up. A few days ago, the network announced a partnership with Atlassian. They're a global leader in team collaborative software and it sent ripples across the market. They have acquired Loom and they acquired Loom for 975 million. And what kind of impact did that have on the actual token? Because it propelled the price more than one thousand percent in the past 30 days pushing the market cap over a billion from a mere 50 million market cap previously and after such massive growth we all ask the question is it too late to buy now the question on everyone's mind is has it run too much if it hasn't run too much where does it need to pull back if it pulls back where's a good entry price what is fair value for loom and that's what we're going to look at on this chart this is the daily chart of loom and there's three key areas that I want to show you guys. The first being between three and four cents. Remember on this channel, we talk about the bigger the base, the higher the space. This is the base. Base lasted four before it broke out. 181 days, 181 days in this range. And where is the space? This is the space. This is the parabolic move. This is on the back of the news. And this is on the back of some company buying this on the back of the use case behind it. They can see that there's good use case behind it. They can see something in this and there must be something that they can see in it to be able to acquire it for 975 million. So that's the first price that I want you to think about is the three cents to four cents level. That's the base. It's not likely to come back down to test these levels, guys, unfortunately, but the is key areas that we can look at and we can do that by sticking on our Fibonacci tool. So we've got our Fibonacci tool from bottom to top. And this is the next area, guys, that I want to show you is the 50 cent level. This is where it topped out. This is where we had a huge reaction. And this is where the bears started buying up and pulling price action back down. Now, the bears are pushing price action back down. Where are they pushing price action back down to? Because you can see that we're already hovering above the 50% retracement level. That's 50% of this whole move here. 50% of that whole move, we're getting a reaction from there. How will price react? And is this where I want to enter? Because what I want to see is more of a 618 pullback. So I'm not interested in this 50%. I want it to come back further. And the 618 is sitting at between 20 and 21 cents. For me, that's something that I'm going to dip my toe into the water. And I'm going to be prepared for it to come back and test the 78.6% retracement. And if it does come back, rejects from the 618, comes back down to test the 786. That's sitting at 14 cents. So that's where my second entry would be. And that's where my more aggressive entry would be. I'm not interested too much at the 618. If we do get a positive reaction from there, I'm allocating small amounts, but I'm waiting for this 786. So I'd rather get it at 13 to 14 cents than at 26 cents or at 22 cents. So that's the power of DCA in at levels of support. It's quite a risky one, guys. When they've had a move like this, you need to think about how far it can actually retrace because these things can retrace quite far, but Loom's doing pretty good. In fact, we can look at the bubbles to find out how good it's doing. And in the week, it's doing 42.8% gain. In the month, we've got 48.3 or 483% gain. So absolutely massive. Now, if you did enjoy this video and if you did find it useful, check out my video on Cardano. In this video, you see how much Cardano you're gonna need for the next run to be able to gain $100,000. So don't miss out on this video here.